I coach the running backs here at Texas Tech, and my expectations for my running backs are for my guys to be able to compete at a high level, for my guys to be able to run the ball efficiently, be able to catch the ball out of the backfield, similar to that of a receiver, and also to be able to pick up a blitz at a high level. You know, so I want my guys to be able to be in our uh, – Hey, listen, even if you do that, just keep talking. Really? You want yeah, to pick it up? Yeah, that out. Oh, hell, I ain't but know that. But then we can splice it to make sure it's okay. right off. We're going to run video over this, too, so yeah. it's not going to be on you all. Yeah, time. remember all that stuff we filmed you doing? Yeah. We'll, we'll have that in the going on, <coughs> when you're talking in the background. Hey, now y'all have family doing a lot of stuff now. Y'all gonna pick it up. We, we got you. I got uh, you. Got, we got a lot of film on you. You just don't see it. Do you really? Sneak up well, make sure I'm doing something. Y'all family. <laughs> All, right. All right. I coach I coach the running backs here at Texas Tech. And my expectation for my running backs are to be able to compete at a high level. For those guys to be able to compete with themselves and, you know, hold on. Damn, I, I want to get this all right one fast swoop. Hold on. Yeah. All right, that's what I got it. No, no, I got it. All right. My, I coach the running backs here at Texas Tech. My expectation for, for my guys to be able to compete at a high level, for those guys to be able to challenge themselves, to run the ball efficiently, be able to catch the ball out of the backfield efficiently, and also be able to pick up the blitz efficiently at a high level. Well, I love, it's quite a few things I love about coaching. It's hard to just say just one particular thing. But one of the, one of the things I say I enjoy is my ability to relate with the players. You know, me being a younger coach and not too far away from the game myself, I feel like there's a lot of things that I can coach a player to do and, and teach a player that, you know, maybe I, I've learned or I've seen somebody else learn throughout my years of playing college football and professional football. If I had to use one word to describe my coach style, I'd say one that is very passionate. You know, I'm very high energy. I'm a guy that's a stickler to details, and I love the game of football. Therefore, the type of energy I exhibit on the football field, I expect my players to exhibit the same energy. The biggest influence in my life would be my grandparents. You know, my grandparents always set my expectations extremely high and always set standards for me extremely high. Always sometimes to the point where it seemed as if I couldn't ever reach them or exceed those expectations. And I believe sometimes it would disappoint them sometimes when, when maybe it felt like I didn't have opportunity or maybe I wouldn't work as hard to exceed those expectations. So over the course of my life, uh, being able to work as hard as I've worked and them pushing me as hard as they could push me, even up to this day, receiving a call from my grandparents every morning and every night wondering, am I going to work on time? Am I staying there as long as I need to stay there to get my work done? Those type of things. You know, it's made me work as hard as I work today and ultimately have led me to become the person I am and the coach I am today at Texas Tech. Being a former college football athlete myself, some of the advice I would give these guys today would be to take academics just as serious as you take football. I think if you can exhibit the amount of passion that you exhibit on the football field, in the classroom, in the course of your college career, on and off the football field, you'll be extremely successful. I think if you're fortunate enough to make it to the next level and maybe, you know, it didn't work out for you, if you did what you're supposed to do when you were in college and pursuing the education that you would love to do after the game of football, it wouldn't matter whether or not you played the game of football. Or